Hey everyone, no name here, and today I have something special. Um, this is an old laptop. I don't know from which year. It's uh, Windows 7 doesn't even exist in this. So it has Intel Centrino Duo, which is, I don't think it's really good. Uh, but anyways, it only has 488 megs of RAM. Um, and this is Zorin OS 7. Um, running at no fallback mode so everything is working perfectly it is pretty fast just saying it has 100 gigabytes of uh, hard drive space and uh, yeah really low specs um, also really bad graphics card but uh, it, it's supposed to run Windows XP when I when I got it it was loaded with junk programs, so it couldn't be able to run. And uh, by installing Linux, this helped it quite a lot. Uh, as you can see, before I wasn't being able to even just type a command or just click on start. Now it's fully functional. The only thing is uh, the low RAM. The hard drive, I don't really care about that, but uh, about the RAM. That's, that's really important. But anyways, this is how Linux helped me with uh, my uh, with handle the laptop with all stuff. But Linux does not all does not always run on. Uh, it's not supposed to. There are some Linux distributions that are supposed to run on lower spec machines. But uh, this particular one is not. It has a lot of icons and stuff. But uh, it looks like Windows with a default interface. But uh, yeah, uh, any animations are disabled, and this also helps and stuff. And uh, it's really fully functional. So Windows XP has nothing really. This is amazingly faster than uh, even uh, Windows XP. Yeah. <laughs> So, I have set up Midori just for uh, web browsing, just web browsing, basic web browsing because it's lightweight and it's really working fast, smooth. Uh, with Windows XP, it didn't even recognize the internet. Um, I had the Wi Fi turned on, but it actually hasn't, uh, have not detected anything. And as you can see, this is working. I can go up and down, uh, and uh, yeah. So this is how Linux helped for this laptop. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it about Linux. How helped? How it helped me? And it actually says about the battery charge, um, which Windows XP didn't say. So. I can just where's the battery? <laughs> Anyways, I just messed up. Yeah. Anyways, that's gonna be. I would like to thank everyone for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Until next time, stay awesome.